Hey, it's me outdoors with Justin. Justin, otherwise. Either way, we're back down here. Got the TN Provo. All fish I'll be catching today will be on the TN Provo. It's a really great rod. Got a good strong back, 16 foot, fast action. Tends to do the trick on a lot of different fish, multiple different species, and multiple different currents. This situation here, we have a lot of heavy current flowing through this way, creating a lot of boils in the water and a lot of big fish hiding in amongst all these rocks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get on a couple today, at least one or two, and I will be splicing in another video from the same location that somehow I lost all of the intro and beginning to the front of that video. So we're gonna see if we can uh, mend one video and make another one and make this a great video for everybody to watch. Keep your eyes tuned to the screen. Got one. Look at that fish. Oh man. <laughs> it doesn't like it. But I do. That's a tank. Tank bow. Well, we're just struggling over here in the current. Just struggling in the current. It's got it right in the top lip. And it just keeps rolling. Come over that rock. Right into the net. <laughs> Sucker, you swam right into the net. Look at that fish. Uh, well, I was just gonna read off your measurements. 10 and 10, there's a 20. Act your age, dang it. That fish has got some nice color. Really nice color. Look at that face. Beautiful rainbow. Get it right back on in there. Look at that puppy. Gone right back down into the crack. How? Nice. All right, we got some super fast race car water right here in front of me. Let's see if something's sitting in it. There we go. Round drop. Tiny dancer. Mm, the color on this one's nice. Gotta get my rod over here out of the way. Oh yeah. Oh, he spit the fly. Jumped right in the net. Let's see, hold still, six and seven, 13. Nice spots, beautiful little brown trout. That was nice. Spit the hook and jumped right in the net in the fast water. 
Be prepared for a lot of water noise. We're going to go out through this. I want to put that over in the current real quick. Really shallow on this side over here. Like maybe a couple feet deep. The fish are over here, they're searching for food. If they're over here. We'll go right up here towards that white water area there. Heavy influx of current. Got one. Oh man, Smalley. Thought I felt the bump. In the net. Well, they don't want to give me my fly back. Got it. Oh, seven and eight, fifteen. Ow, you spurred me, you little turd. That's a nice smallie right there. It's forcing its way away from the camera. Well, bye. There we go. Oh yeah. Felt that one stump it. Just a matter of waiting right there, I'll tell you that. Just a matter of waiting. How long could I hold it there and wait? Oh, oh, not ready yet. I'm going to try to videotape how I get these in the net. Let them get a little bit worn out. Point the rod back. Uh, steer them right towards you. Uh, nope. A little more helpful when I'm standing up. You get them up on their side like that. And then you just dip the net down in front of them. Easy peasy, fishing Japanesey. All right, eleven, seven, eighteen. Well, we'll just let her calm down. She's a big girl. Woo! Well, you got to see part of it. <laughs> we'll get it back in there. See if we can't produce another one. It'll behave a little better. For a second there, I thought I just had another one. Well, just about every day I come down here, I find something. Just about every day. 
Today it was this little guy, whatever the heck it is. Super cheapo, no name. Well, we'll just go ahead and stick it on up there in the hat. And we'll continue on with our day here. got something going on here. Rock. Another rock. Got one. Oh boy. He's like a rocket out into the current. Bam! Tow truck. Get over here. <laughs> In the net. Got her. <laughs> that was excitement. She was really happy to see it. Uh, five and ten, fifteen. Nice little thick girl right there. Woo! <laughs> I kept watching that fish go for it. That just took a minute to get him to take it. Kept seeing it like flashing in the current. Oh, six and five, eleven. Bugger out the mouth already. Look at the nice little bug on my net. A nice little rainbow right there. That bug's not a nice one. I think that's a squash bug or something like that. If you got a garden, you can thank me. Got something. Got a runner. Small mouth. Oh, that's a good one too. Real good one. It was over here hiding by the rocks. Got the rod bent nice. 
does get it in the neck. Oh, it ran. Come back here. Some of the hardest things to do with Nimkara slash Keru is trying to get these fish in the net. That's the hard part. Catching the fish might be the easy part. It's got my net all wrapped up with this fishing line. That woolly bugger is just about half swallowed. Where's my pliers at? Right down there at the bottom of the mouth. Got a little bit of action going on there. Six and nine, fifteen. That's a nice smallie right there. Nice smallie. Got one. Oh yeah. That's a nice rainbow right there. 18 inches or so. Look at that puppy. It's just digging hard. And it's off. Pretty sure I lost a fly there. Yep. Fish strong enough it broke 4x. Well, that was fun. I'm gonna re rig up. Same thing. Try again. And if I don't succeed, this will be the end of the video. And I'd like to thank everybody for watching, liking, subscribing sharing my videos dropping some comments below and hopefully everybody's getting something out of watching me fish education wise and entertainment wise well thank you guys again for watching We just missed one. Holding up above the current, letting it drift down and around. There's one. Look at that fish. Oh yeah. Big old trout, big old rainbow. <laughs>